Okay, this is a uh, 2004 Honda Odyssey EX. Uh, I have a problem with the chatting noise, the one that you hear. Now, uh, it sounds like knee, it's knee valve adjustment or uh, the sound of the injector, but it's not. It's coming from this device right here. Right? This thing right here. That's where that chatter noise come from. So I'm gonna replace it with the new one and uh, see if that gonna solve the problem. Okay? Uh, this car when it when I did a valve adjustment, the noise going away, but when it warm up, then the noise coming back. Okay? Okay. Uh, with the engine turned off, what you want to do is. Um, Unplug the uh, electrical connector. Just push it in with your thumb and pull them out. Next thing you want is uh, losing a vacuum hose. So I got a strong finger and twist it. Now I re uh, replaced this yesterday and test out the new one and uh, the noise that solved the problem. Okay, the noise did go away. So I'm just going to put the old, you know, I put the old park back and, um, and do this video for you guys. So basically after you lose out the vacuum, there's two bolt, one right there and one back here. Just uh, using a 10 millimeter socket with the ratchets, just lose them out. Okay. Try to uh, hold one hand on the camera, the other one doing the work, so the camera may not be steady, but it's a simple uh, step to replace this thing. All right, you take it out. Now I put it next to the new one so you can, uh, so you can see it's exactly the same thing. Uh, what I did, I go by this part number here, and... Um, I was able to find a guy who gave me a used one for ten dollars. Reason I did that because um, the check engine light is not on, and a lot of people tell me it's a it's need valve adjustment or injector. So, uh, but I determined this, and I really don't know if this is gonna solve the problem until I put it on yesterday, test drive it, and it worked great, right? So, um, so those are, those are things. Okay, to put them back. Just put the uh, put the bolt back. Finger tight. These are aluminum, and uh, you don't want to over tighten them. Strip the thread. Alright, so I'm going to finger tie it all the way and set my ratchets to tight and give it a snug, it's really good, say about 10 pound torque, okay, then after that you hook, hook the vacuum line up. I like to place the vacuum line where it's uh, pretty much exactly like like the previous position like that okay the last thing you want to do is hook on the electrical just plug it in if you don't do this you don't hook on this electrical when you turn the key on or when you start a car you're gonna get a check engine light and it won't go off all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up a car and we're going to check it out. Let me see if I can focus this on so you can see. Uh, lower the steering wheel. Okay. Car running. No check engine lights. And... Okay, there it is, the um, 
noise is completely gone. The chatter and noise is completely gone. So this is a successful um, ten dollar quick fix for me. Uh, but like I say, I uh, I did it yesterday and I drove around, so I know it's worked. But for the video purpose, I just installed the old one and uh, and uh, you know let you hear that channel sound. So now all I have to do is put back the cover back up and that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope this video will help you troubleshoot that uh, noise. Bye.